Good morning, fellow Wonder Peeps. I am Scarab, and you're watching Scarab Gaming. Welcome to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. Today, we are going to be playing Slay the Spire, and we'll get to that straight after the intro. Welcome back everybody to Slay the Spire. Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Let me know how you're doing in the comments and as always I do have merch available and you can also donate directly to the channel which helps me out a great deal. And the link to that is in the description of this video. Now, if you are familiar with this game or you're familiar with this game on my channel it's because I did a live stream about this. Um, and now I want to make a few videos on it because it's, it's, it's fun. This is a really fun and addictive game, so I'd probably be able to make a million episodes of this, but <laughs> I won't. I'll make as many as I feel necessary. And today we are going to be playing as the Ironclad. Here we go. We're going to go standard, the Ironclad. And we're not setting a seed, we're just going to go random. So here we go. Act one, exordium, another try. Now, for those who didn't see the live stream, it's the first video in the playlist of Slay the Spire on my channel. Like, just, just, just watch it. Either that or understand that this is a deck building game. In this, you have cards and then you gain cards and you use cards to gain more cards and then you, you just build and build and build and upgrade and upgrade and build. And it's an RPG sort of turn-based fighting system. It's weird. It's good. It's fun. You should play it. I, I strongly recommend everyone play it. Anyway, we're playing as the Ironclad, which is a uh, warrior type and is very good at hurting things. And he also has this ability that lets him, uh, his, his, his starting relic lets him gain, I think it's 6 HP after every battle. But you can also change that because we're right here. We've got this weird creepy whale thing on the right hand side of the screen. Um, but we can choose to do certain things. So we can transform a card. We can have enemies in the next three combats to have one HP. Uh, which I did do in the live stream if you check that out. Uh, I could lose eight max HP and remove two cards. What's the point of that? Uh, lose my starting relic and obtain a random boss relic. So this could be anything, but I lose my ability to heal after combat every time. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to start with that just for funs. Just for funsies. Now, we are going to figure out what that does. It's a bird cage, is it? <clears throat> Hang on. Oh, God. Two cards to remove. Why do I... I don't want to choose two cards to remove. All right, fine. We'll remove that and we'll remove that. Risk reward. But I want to know why I had to get rid of two cards. Show me. What did I just get? Empty cage. Upon pickup, remove two cards from your deck. Well, that sucks! That's not a reward. Alright, we're going to save and quit and we're going to start again. Because I'm not starting the game like that. Fuck sake. <laughs> okay, we're going to abandon the run and we're going to start again. Because I'm an idiot. Yes, another try. Alright, max HP. Max 8 HP. That's good. I like that. I raised my max HP. Alright. Cool. Let's do a thing. Let's attack a bunch of stuff. First battle. Battle start! So, here we've got bash, we've got strike, and we've got defend. So, defending gains block. And block is something you need if the enemy is attacking. As you can see, uh, on top of the enemy's head, it says 11 with a sword symbol which means he is going to attack me for 11 damage um and i can go block and block and he'll only hit me for one damage because now i have 10 shields um and i can also while i'm here hit him and because that's my set of cards if i had another shield i would have been able to completely block that damage um but that's okay could have been worse now i'm gonna strike the hell out of this guy and end the turn now he's going to use a bellow, which uh, increases his strength. So next time he tries to attack, it's a little bit stronger. So I'm going to defend, defend, and attack. Alright, this is going to hurt for 4 damage. Ouch. And now I am going to... Oh, I could make him a bit more vulnerable. That'd be good. Yeah, bash. And then strike. And then he'll die in the next turn. There's no way he'll be able to get me. Yeah, you can be as strong as you want, bud. But you ain't gonna hurt me. 
Not if I have enough striking cards. Yep, and I do. Boom. Dead. First enemy down. We get 20 gold and we're able to add a card to our hand. Um, or to our deck, I should say. Anger. Deal 6 damage. Add a copy of this card into your discard pile. Uh, Iron Wave. Gain 5 block. Deal 5 damage. Uh, Thunderclap. Deal 4 damage. Apply 1 vulnerable to all enemies. Now that's cool. That's useful. But I think that Anger is really good only because it doesn't cost anything at all. It doesn't cost you a thing to, to play this card. And you get more and more as time goes on. And they could just be really useful to just cut, start throwing random damage at enemies. So, um... And good to whittle down their health. Especially in bosses. Alright, you're doing a weird thing. So I'm going to strike you, strike you, and then defend myself. And then I'm going to end my turn. So we have a certain amount of skill points that we're allowed to allowed to use. And every card has a different uh, value. So bash is 2, strike is 1, and anger is 0. Which means that... Um, I only have three at the moment, three energy to use. Um, there are cards that increase that, and you can also have relics that increase that as well, which is very useful because the current relic I've got is Burning Blood. At the end of combat, heal six HP. Um, but you collect relics as time goes on, and that's very useful for um, future endeavors. So yeah, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to bash you. There we go. So we got to make sure to balance our energy consumption because if we uh, do a thing that's a bit uh, too... Uh, l l let's say <clears throat> if we only have three and we find a card that's worth three, we can only use one card, if that makes sense. We can only use that three card and won't be able to use anything else. Unless that card specifies otherwise. I don't know, it's complicated. But this game is so much fun and it really is like super addictive. I don't know why I'm... Oh, I could have attacked him for one more, but oh well, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Um, <clears throat> that was my fault. That was completely my fault. Uh, but this game is just, I don't know, it's, it's really, really cute, but it's, like, really difficult. <laughs> like, really, really is hard. It's not, um, it's not a game that's exactly easy. So... It gets more and more challenging as time goes on. Now, this card is awesome. Um, deal 12 damage and apply 2 weak. Now, weak is probably the best debuff that you can give uh, an opponent outside of poison. Um, because you can weaken them so then they don't hurt you as bad. It's kind of like a good defensive thing. Uh, so, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to grab that, that card. It's useful. Very, very useful. Oh, especially coming up against these guys. These guys hit pretty hard. Uh, I'm going to just clothesline that guy now, uh, just to prevent any problems. And I'm going to, yep, there we go. Alright, I'm going to get stabbed for three, which is fine. I'll get that back. Now, hopefully if I, if I play my cards right, I should be able to get rid of at least one of these things. Yep, there we go. Defend myself against that attack and attack him. Alright, he's only got 10 HP left. I'm going to get hurt. Yep, that's fine. Um, and anger, boom, and then strike, boom, and then I win. Awesome. All right, so 15 gold, essence of steel, which does gain four plated armor, so it's a uh, consumable potion. All right, I could get another anger, or I could get an iron wave. I want an iron wave because that gives me block and damage, so useful, very useful. Oh. We entered a question mark, which means that something random is about to happen. Uh, you find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. Upgrade two random cards, lose 18 hit points. That's fine. It's not permanent. It just gives me a bit of damage. All right, that was that was cool. All right, I think we should. Um... Yeah, let, let's go to the other question mark. See what happens here. Enemy? No. Oh. Huh. You find yourself in the room filled with racks of test tubes, beakers, flasks, forceps, pinch clamps, stirring rods, tongs, goggles, funnels, pipettes, cylinders, condensers, and even rare spiral tube of glass. Uh, why do you know the name of all these tools? It doesn't matter, you take a look around. Fair enough. Uh, we just picked up some potions. Um, okay, so apply three weak, I definitely want that. Apply three vulnerable or discard any number of cards and draw that many. I think fear potion is useful. We'll skip that one. All right, cool. Uh, now we're at the campfire, and at the campfire, it has uh, an abundance of things to do. Right now, only two. We can rest, 
and gain 30% of our max hit points, or we can upgrade a card in our deck. Later on, you can actually find relics that get you to... Um, to, to have like more strength like start a battle with more strength or something like that um, and you can upgrade that at campsite as well so uh, right now we can only rest or smith but later on we'll be able to do be bigger and better things okay I think clothesline no hmm apply three week that'd be very useful yeah all right let's do that I, I would like to get it so then clothesline only cost me one to use but oh well Ooh! Oh, look at that! I'm gonna attack a boss. Why not? Oh no, I hate these things. I hate- these things are gonna kill me. I really, really hate these things. They're the worst. Oh, I do- oh man! Alright, attack that. Defend. Yeah, that's alright, I'll, I'll take a hit. And hit that, and hit that, and- and turn. Alright, so these guys have a problem. They um, cancel 1 debuff. So if you try to weaken them or anything, it just immediately gets nullified. So you have to remove that with a weaker thing and then uh, attack them again. Uh, so if I attack one of these clothesline and um, apply 3 weak, the 3 weak will not be applied. Which kind of sucks. Attack! But that's all right. I managed to defend myself a little bit and take out one of them. So that's the main thing. I might, I might not die, as long as I don't keep picking up dazed. Because if I pick up a lot of dazed, then I'm, I'm not able to do a lot. Yeah, there's one. Um. Okay. So strike this guy and defend. Because I, I, I don't want to keep taking damage. I want to be able to heal. Ow! That's okay. And now you're gonna give me more dazed. So the longer this battle goes, the more dazed into my deck. Which is really annoying. Anger! Um, and defend, I guess. There's nothing else I can really do. Alright. Cool. I really hate this boss. It's annoying. Artifacts are the worst. Alright, cool. Uh, let, yeah, let's clothesline this guy and strike him as well I guess there's nothing else we can really do because we can't defend ourselves this round but oh well, we'll just take on nine damage it's fine it's not the end of the world yet yet and go there we go all right that's dead block and damage yep do that and strike him now let's see how how well our cards are going to play out next round Curious and curious, huh? Hmm. Uh, defend. Anger. Anger. There we go. Ah, could have been worse. And uh, now we're gonna pick up some more dazed. Yay. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom. 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 There we go. We blocked that attack. And hopefully we'll be able to kill him next turn. Die, you bastard. I got it. Ta-da! Shuriken. Every time you play three attacks in one single turn, gain one strength. That is a very useful thing to have. Add a card to my deck. Feed! Oh, yes! Finally! All right. This is one of the coolest things. Deal 10 damage. If this kills a non-minion enemy, raise your max HP by three. Exhaust. So, um, if I manage to defeat an enemy with my final blow using feed, I actually max out my uh, HP, like my max HP. That's so cool. I'm definitely taking that as one of the most useful cards in this. Very difficult to execute because sometimes you can't get that card, but um, uh, when luck's on your side, it's on your side. Otherwise, eh. All right, I'm gonna attack you so you don't hurt me for as much. And I'm gonna defend. Oh, I can't defend any further. All right, well, that's fine. I'll just take the damage, it's all right. Grow? Ah, oh, nuts! I don't like that. Alright. Eh. Anger. Yeah, let's, um... Hit that guy, and then... Deal six damage to that. Twice. 
feed? Oh, I did. I gained a max HP just now. I just, I was just able to show you what it does. Cool. That's awesome. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I'm going to suffer nine damage though. Yo! Ow. Damn slavers. You bastards. All right, I'm going to defend myself a little bit. There we go. I weakened him, so it's not as bad. All right, I am going to kill you this round. Take that. Oh. Maybe I won't kill you this round. I'll kill you next round. Hmm. Yo! Anger. I killed you with my rage. Swift potion. Draw three cards. No, I don't need it. Um, feel no pain. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain three block. Uh, rampage. Deal eight damage. Increases cards damage by five. This combat. So every time you use this card in this deck, um, like in the in a battle, especially in like boss battles and stuff, you can actually stack the damage in this. It's really cool. I'm gonna go to the treasure chest to the left so we don't have to fight a boss immediately. Uh, Blood Vial. Start. At the start of each combat, heal two HP. Ooh, useful. Oh, you picked up a bunch of gold too. All right, so here's an enemy. Ah, fungus. We hate fungus. Rampage. Awesome, we'll start with that. Um, cool. Kill that. Now, may as well. Oh. No, kill it. Yeah, there we go. Um, and we should be fine for this round, but this thing is about to grow. Fantastic. Uh, only for nine, really? Oh, that's not bad. I'll do that and then gain some more block with that. And then strike you. I should be able to kill this next round. I'm looking forward to this. You ready to die? Ooh, feed. Max HP! Oh man, I'm doing really good with this card. All right, dexterity potion, gain two dexterity. Uh, and, uh, dexterity is really useful because it gains block. Um, so as a matter of fact, having four plated armor is not as good as having dexterity, but uh, it's really difficult to decide. I'm just going to add a card to my deck. Blood for blood. Nope. Oh, each time you lose HP this combat, deal 18 damage. Ooh. Oh, deal eight. Oh, sorry. Costs one less energy for each time you lose HP in this combat. All right. I like that. The deal 14 damage. Strength affects this card three times. Oh, it's hard to hard to decide. Because blood for blood could end up being a free card, you know? Heavy blade is useful, though. I'm going to go blood for blood because it's rarer. Um, yeah, we're just going to skip. And we're at a question mark. What's happening here? Uh, all right. You come across a dead adventurer on the floor. His pants have been stolen. Also, he looks to have been eviscerated and chopped by giant claws. Though his possessions are still intact, you're in no mind to find out what happened here. Leave or find loot, 25% chance a monster returns. You found a relic. Continue searching. Hmm. What did I find? Bag of preparation. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. I'm happy. We're going to leave. Nice. Oh, wicked. We were able to get some, some cool stuff. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Alright, come on. Um, we're at the shops. Deal damage equal to your block. Now that can be very handy. Uh, I might want to grab that, but I want to find out what everything else is first. Heal 4 HP. Exhaust. That's useful. That's a skill. Um, at the start of boss combats, heal 25 HP. Ooh, useful. Um... Sling of Courage. Start each elite combat with two strength. Um, what else do we have here? Anything good? Exhaust all non-attack. Gain five block for each card exhausted. Oh, I really want Body Slam. I want Bandage Up, but I, I really want the uh, Pantograph or the Sling of Courage. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Decisions. I think bandage up is going to come in handy in the long run. Body slam also going to be very useful. Uh, true grit 
is useful, but it does exhaust a random card in my hand, which is kind of annoying. But it's another block card, and it has a higher value than my standard block cards. Second Wind is useful, but who knows? Um... Alright, we'll get True Grit, we'll get another Anger card as well. That'll do for now. Proceed! Let's go to the camp. Um, should we heal up or should we go to Smith? I'm thinking Smith. Let's upgrade... Uh, blood for Blood? Um, or Bandage Up. Yeah, Bandage Up. Upgrade that. Because uh, if we can gain HP in combat, that's going to be very useful. So if we draw that, it's going to be the best. Ah, 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 itchy. Oh, alright. So here, blood for blood, we can't really use because we haven't been attacked yet. Um, and it requires a lot more energy than we, can, than we have at the moment. So every time we get hit, it costs one less energy. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to use that sometime soon. Um, actually, no. Hopefully, we don't have to use it so we don't get hit at all. Uh, yeah, defend. And then... That's all I can do. Enemy turn. Dealing two damage to me. That's fine. Oh, did I have to have the feed card now? That would have been very useful a little later on. Um, rampage? Sure, why not? And... Strike. Okay, come on. Bring it! Yeah. Don't you mug me, you bastard. Heal! Yay! Anger! Iron Weave! Uh, true Grit! Yeah! I'm gonna block all of that damage. Lunge! Yeah, that's alright, you're dead now. You have one HP. I'm going to bash you. Got it. <laughs> 43 gold stolen back. Uh, 12 gold power potion. Nah, I don't need it. Uh, Alright. Ooh, cleave or sword boomerang. Oh, enemy loses two strength. That can come in handy. A sword boomerang. Deal three damage to a random enemy three times. Useful, but eh, kind of weak at the moment. Deal 8 damage to all enemies. Cleave. Very useful. Uh, disarm. Enemy loses 2 strength. That will definitely come in handy. And it's also a rarer uh, card to grab. So I was thinking, well, I may as well grab it. So here we go. I am going to heal up at this camp. If the game didn't just glitch. Oh, thank god. Alright, rest. Alright. We are of full health. And we're about to come up against the boss. This is not going to be fun. I'll just state that now. We are going to gain four plated armor right from the get-go. Um, and then we are going to... Uh, no point disarming it at the moment. Um, clothesline. There we go. And strike. And anger. Yeah. I hate this boss. It's really, really difficult. If you don't kill it quickly, it kills you. Um, strike for 10 damage? Sure. Strike for 7 damage? Sure. Rampage? Sure. I'm not, no point in using the bandage because I'm not hurt yet. And now I'm hurt. That hurt a lot. Thanks for that, boss. Uh, apply 3 weak. Yeah. Go for it. What's this do? Fear. Apply three vulnerable. Go for it. Do it. Um, right. Iron Weave. I should be able to block the next attack. Attack! And, um, yeah, Body Slam. Boom! Okay. This is not going to be fun. Oh, yay. Thanks for putting that in my... Discard pile. Alright. Uh, disarm. Enemy loses two strength. Yep. I'll take that. Uh, anger. Strike. And true grit. Alright. He's going to hit me twice for two damage, which is fine. Yep. I still have three armor, but now that's gone. 
Uh, use anger quickly. I'm going to use a clothesline to apply more weak. Um, and then defend. Every time he hits me, he gains more power. So what I really want to do is kill it as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, bandage up, defend, and strike. Ow. In flame. All right, cool. You're gonna. Yeah, you did a thing. All right. Um, is there anything I can do? Uh, iron wave. Yeah, do that. And then can we bash it, make it more vulnerable? That's cool. All right, so I'm going to suffer one damage after this. Ah, that's okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. Next turn. He's gonna really mess me up, so I better do something. Ah, see? I've been hit a bunch of times, which means that this card is now free to use. Costs zero energy. So bam, instant 31 damage, which is awesome. Gain five block, hit that damage. Um, yeah, do that. And then body slam, I guess. May as well. He's gonna hit me for four, which is fine. But now his next attack is really gonna mess me up. So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna kill it. There we go, we won. We defeated the boss! We actually did that rather easily. Ooh, a rebuff. Deal four damage to all enemies. Heal HP equal to unblocked damage. Oh my god, that is awesome. Yeah, we're, we're definitely taking that card. That is really cool. Snecker Eye. At the start of your turn, draw two additional cards. Start each combat confused. Nah, screw that. Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. Fuck that. Alright, Tiny high, tiny House. Upon pickup, attain one potion, gain 50 gold, raise your max HP by 5, obtain one card, upgrade one random card. Useful! What's this? Lizard's Tail. When you would die, heal to 50% of your max HP instead of dying. Um, and it works once. I'd rather take Tiny House, but uh, that's like a, if you die, you don't die, die. It's like an extra life and half health. Um, which does come in handy, but I really want to just uh, max everything out. I want to see if I can live long enough to not die, you know? Alright, so got that, got that, and Searing Blow. Deal 12 damage, can be upgraded a number of times. Flex. I like flex because that increases my strength, which increases my, my uh, damage output. So let's do that. All right, act two, the city. Um, all right, let's attack a beast and let's go shopping. All right, attack with anger, attack with anger, attack with iron weave. And... True grit. Because he's going to attack me now for 10 damage. Which I will be able to block. Yeah, there we go. Good. Oh, flex. I'll be able to show you what that does right now. All right, gain two strength. And now everything causes more damage. Um, hit him. I uh, don't need to defend right now. So just strike, strike, strike. Use that flex to all your might. Surfer. I don't know what hexes actually do. I'm going to figure that out right now. Whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one dazed into your draw pile. Huh, all right. Disarm enemy loses three strength. Exhaust. Yeah, sure, do that. Um, strike, defend. Yeah, all right. I'm okay with that. Aha, I blocked it. Take that. Okay, uh, close line. Yeah, play three weak and may as well block a little bit of damage that's about to come my way. That's fine. I think we're actually doing really good on this playthrough. Um, defend, strike. Okay, that's, that's fine. Whatever you just did then is fine. Uh, don't need a heal. Strike. Strike. Defend. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Ow! There goes eight of my hit points. I am going to... Huh. Iron wave. 
and defend. And defend. I'm gonna see if I can draw a feed next turn, because if I do, then I should be able to increase my max HP. Yes, perfect. Bye. Ah, strategy. You gotta think ahead. That was cool. I like that. All right. Um. Ooh. Armaments. Gain five block. Upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Useful. Uh, dual wield. Choose an attack or power card. Add a copy of that card into your hand. Also useful. And another flex. I'm gonna go armaments because I know that comes in handy. All right. So let's go and let's go shopping with this dude. All right. Woohoo! Uh, discovery. Choose one of three random cards to add into your hand. It costs zero this turn. Huh. Violence. Put three random attacks from your draw pile into your hand. Uh, Regal Pillow. Oh, yes. Uh, whenever you heal, uh, whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 points. Uh, Bronze Scales. Start each combat with three thorns. So, uh, thorns is when you get attacked, you deal damage to the attacker as well. Uh, Lee's Waffle, upon pickup, raise your max HP by 7 and heal all your HP. Look, that that's cool and all, and I'd love to grab that, but... I like Perfected Strike. I really like Perfected Strike, and I really like... Oh. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get Perfected Strike and see what else I can get. I really want Regal Pillow, but I think that Bronze Scales is going to be a lot more useful right now who knows i might be able to pick one up later i might even find a regal pillow somewhere uh you happen to you happen upon a group of what looks like purple fire spirits dancing around a large bonfire the spirits toss small bones and fragments into the fire which brilliantly erupts each time as you approach the spirits all turn to you expectantly offer receive a reward based on the offer all right, I'll um, I'll give you I'll give you a um, a defend. There you go. You toss an offering into the bonfire. Nothing happens. The spirits seem to be ignoring you now. Disappointing. I gave them a shitty card, so they didn't want anything to do with me. Great, I just threw out a defen defensive card. Oh, I hate these things. All artifacts are the worst! Alright, Perfected Strike is one of my favourite cards because you deal a certain amount of damage and it gives you two additional damage for all your cards containing Strike. So all of my Strike cards that I have um, affect this card. So I can deal 18 damage immediately with this. It's so useful. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that and then that. That should do a thing. Now, this guy likes to defend himself, and then he tries to uh, attack you a bunch when he feels comfortable with the amount of defense that he's built up. So, what we want to do is destroy him as quickly as possible. Game block. Sure, upgrade that. And hit him with that. All right. Alright, so uh, he's got two debuffs at the moment, so I think he had three before. Um, anytime I hit him with a debuff, like applying weak or something, it's not going to affect him, unfortunately. And he does deal a lot of damage. Uh, I'm going to clothesline him to get rid of one of those debuff things, uh, deal more damage, and that's all I can really do. I'm about to get hit for 20. Ow, ow. That's not fun. That hurts. Alright, uh, flex. Yes, definitely. Uh, blood for blood. Bam! Nice! Got rid of him. Alright, um, yes! An upgraded flex. Let's get that and let's move on. Oh, a shop. Oh, wait. I was just at a shop. Uh, you can't buy anything here. God damn it! I wasted it. That's okay. We can go to a camp and, uh, rest up. Upgrade one of our things. All right, let's go smith and upgrade uh, reaper. Five damage. Excellent. That's going to come in handy. Oh, three of them. All right. Let's flex. Let's flex again. 
And let's attack with anger and rampage and strike. Uh, iron weave. Cool, I killed one of them. I did a thing. That was actually a lot better than I was expecting, but all right, I'm not arguing. Bandage up. Yeah, I may as well. Um, blood for blood. Can't use it. Anger. Strike. And... I can deal damage, but I don't want to do that because... Not yet. I'm choosing not to do that. Not not quite... Yet. See, now every time they attack me, they get affected by the thorns. Hmm. Clothesline. Apply weak. And maybe I should defend for this round. Yeah, let's do that and upgrade that. That's a good idea. Ow. Ow. That's okay. I mean, it's not, it's not the, the end of the world, you know what I mean? So what we're going to do is we're going to Reaper and gain some health back. And we're going to make this guy a little bit weaker. Now we're going to get hit for 18 damage. Ouch. Okay, we really need to take one of these guys out. There we go. Boom. One of them's gone. And now I'm going to defend. Alright, we're going to get hit for four. Just thinking about the math of things. Yep. Hit him with that. Flex. Uh, strike. Defend. Deal 13 damage. You got 15 though. Damn it. I can't use it yet. Maybe I'll be able to defend or something. I don't know. They keep gaining strength. It's uh, time I, I ended this. Yeah. Rampage. Rampage. My powers were matched! The flex potion. Gain five strength. Nice. But that's just for one round. Um, iron weave. Iron, uh, sorry, iron wave or battle trance. Okay. Iron wave. Ooh. Oh, no. All right. So we've got a knight and a, the person behind him heals the knight. So that's going to come... That's going to become really annoying. Um... Okay, let's point our anger at this thing behind him, and boom. Just keep attacking it. Oh, we're going to get hit for one. So, shield, I guess. Okay. Might be useful to gain some strength for this turn. Oh, bandage up. Definitely bandage up. I'll disarm that guy. Yep. Strength down and defend for one and strike this one. It's all I can do. Ow. That's okay. Every time he attacks me, he's gonna hurt himself. Stop healing! I don't want you to heal him! Flex and. No, I didn't mean to. Oh, I just ended my turn. I accidentally ended my turn early. I pressed the wrong friggin' button. Flex. And now I want to drink that and get some more strength. So then I'm able to... Clothesline. And Iron Wave, I guess. Damn it! Okay, uh, deal six damage. All right, defend, defend, rampage, perfected strike. I'm thinking rampage and then reaper. Gain a little bit of health back, you know. It's not going to do much. Ouch. Don't heal! Ah! I'm annoyed! I'm very, very annoyed. Oh, good. Flex. Flex. Upgrade feed. 
no. Upgrade feed. And strike. Yes. Feed on that. And max HP 4. Sweet. Useful. Okay, uh, now I can start concentrating on this guy because he's not going to get healed all the time. 15, hey? Ooh, blood for blood. Boom. Okay, uh, Iron Wave, True Grit, and use an attack. That'll have to do. Nothing else I can do about that. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, this guy might kill me. I'm not sure, but he m there's a chance. And make him weaker. There we go. Alright, next turn is mine. Ow. Just anger. There we go. Boom! God damn. That was brutal. Um, thunderclap or armaments again? Mm, thunderclap. Because I don't think I have one of those yet. 26 gold and red skull. While your HP is at or below 50%, you have three additional strength. Ooh! That can come in handy, especially during boss fights when I get really severely messed up. Um, I don't have enough health to deal with you guys, so I'm going to bandage up. And then I'm going to flex. And then I'm going to use anger on you, because you're going to just keep getting stronger and stronger. And then I'm going to weaken you. And then gain 8 block. Yeah. Alright. So this is gonna hurt a little bit, but not too bad. I really wish I drew that Reaper card. Because that would be very handy right now. Um, right, flex. Use Iron Wave. And feed. Nice! Increasing my max HP is what I do! Alright! Ah, oh, this game is really cool. I, I just love this turn-based strategy, deck-building, RPG... Roguelite? Or roguelike? I can't remember which is which, but it's awesome. Regardless. Alright, use the, yeah, the Reaper one. Heal up a little bit, and um, that's all we can do. Alright, so what are you gonna do? You, you confused? What are you doing? Uh, Alright. Shield, bash, or bash him. Shield, done. Uh, oh, you're gonna attack me for 18. Thanks. I have a really good idea. Don't do that again. Okay? I'm just gonna attack you with that, attack you with that, and then hope that you don't hurt me too bad. Are oh, you gonna attack me for five? That's fine. That's fine. That's five hit points I didn't necessarily need. Uh, flex. Anger. Str Thunderclap. And then strike. Awesome. Beat him! Uh, disarm. A pummel. Deal two damage five times. Heavy blade. Deal 14 damage. Strength affects this card three times. You know, I'm gonna get heavy blade this time just because I had an opportunity to get it again. So, may as well. Uh, shop. All right. Spot weakness is very useful as well. If the enemy attempts to attack, gain three strength. Um, that can come in handy, especially if you've got, like, a lot of cards. Uh, I do want that. I do want that. I really want that. But should I get it? Put a card from your hand to the bottom of your draw pile. Nah. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll take that and I'll take spot weakness too. All right. Man, we got enemy after enemy after enemy. Oh, it had to be one. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I'm not going to live past this. This might be the end of us. Ah. Uh -huh. There's nothing I can really do about it. Um. Sure. 
Sure, why not? Yay, thanks for giving me dazed. God damn artifacts! They're teaming up on me. Flex. Disarm. Thunderclap. Yes. And... Strike? What's this do? Um... In turn. Please don't hurt me too bad. Ow. Uh, we really need to mess this thing up. Like, ASAP. Uh... Okay, Anger, obviously, because it's free. Rampage could be useful. Defend, I'm going to need. Um... Gain block and use attack damage is good. Uh, Rampage! There we go. Enemy turn! Alright, you're gonna hurt me really badly for 11. Ouch. I'm not going to live past this, am I? Ah, flex. Bandage up! Uh, iron wave. Strike and defend. Hey, we might actually... No, he's, he's put up some defenses again. Oh! Heavy Blade, 26 damage right now. Insta-kill! Sweet! Nice! Alright, I'm happy with that. Alright, Searing Blow, deal 12 damage. Can be upgraded a number of times. Alright, cool, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, next enemy, and then we have an enemy after this before our resting point. Oh, God. We're not gonna make this, are we? Bandage up. Thunderclap to all enemies. Yeah, that's going to be useful. Um, rampage. Or defend. Yeah, I think I'm going to rampage. Or bash. Apply to vulnerable. Uh, you know what? I'm going to rampage. Because I think that's going to be more useful at the moment. To... In the long run. Because if the more I use that card, the stronger it gets throughout battle. And I think it's, this, this might take a while. Hoping not, but it might. Um, also, I've got more strength because I'm below 50%, which is good. Um, but it also means these guys are going to fuck me up if they get close, if I allow them to get close. Uh, Iron Wave, uh, sure. Okay, um, let's start damaging other guys and body slam. Sure. There we go. There's nothing I can do about that. All right. Ow. Ow. Are they, I think these guys, yeah, they, they get progressively stronger. So what I'm going to have to do is I have to strike you and then iron weave and feed. Awesome. And then I'm going to have to just suffer nine damage and hope hope that we'll be able to defeat this guy like ASAP. All right, he is planning on attacking me, so spot weakness and I gain strength. And that means that I can deal 29 damage to him instantly for this. Boom. And then anger. And we win. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I want to get rid of Snecker oil and replace it with Swift oil. It does the same thing, but this time I don't get confused. Reckless charge, deal. No, I don't want to dazed. Uh... Could use another clothesline, but you know, body slam that costs nothing, that can be useful too. So if I'm completely defensive and I've got no more things left, I can always use that. All right, so where are we and what are we doing? Uh... All right, flex, definitely. Perfected strike on that motherfucker. Um. And then we want Iron Wave... Oh, wait. What deals the most damage? Strike. There we go. Don't heal. Damn it! Shield is just as bad as healing. Alright, so you're about to attack me. Um, flex. 
spot weakness and then perfected strike against that and killed cool i'm just going to have to suffer this damage ow that's okay it could have been worse bandage up um may as well use reaper uh, anger and strike may as well we're doing pretty good we're actually getting a lot further than i thought we'd be getting uh, rampage um true grit and armaments would protect me from some damage I didn't have faith that I would be able to take him out this round, so... Ouch! Good thing I protected myself then. Alright. Nice! Okay, flex, barricade. Block is not removed at the start of your next turn. Useful. But I think the flexing is going to be a lot more useful. So, now we can finally rest up before the boss. We are at half health. I do not have faith in us. I don't think I've ever actually gotten this far. It's exciting. Um, fear potion. Apply vulnerable. May as well. Skill potion. Swift potion. No, I don't need that. Uh, uh, okay. I'm going to armaments. I'm going to upgrade heavy blade. Because that's going to come in handy. Uh, I don't have any strength, so there's no point in using it now. Uh, I can use that. And then Thunderclap, may as well, and Strike. Alright. So, I've added a bunch of vulnerable... Ah, oh, you're summoning minions? That's not cool. Ah, nuts. Alright, uh, I'm gonna have to flex and then use anger on one of these things. Uh, defend and disarm. Sure, why not? Yeah, we're, we're probably not going to win this battle. I mean, I, I haven't lost all hope, but if I'm not smart about this, it's going to be really bad. Ooh. Okay, uh, if I perfected strike this guy ooh 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 reaper and defend that was a dumb thing to do I could have nah that was stupid I shouldn't have done that that was dumb that was really dumb of me yeah, Anger, get rid of that guy. Hit that guy, clothesline that guy. Drink, I guess. Ethereal, gain block. Sure, let's do that. Uh, that'll come in handy. Alright. You are mine! Well, I'd rather- Ah! Ooh. Ooh, that hurt. Alright, I'm gonna flex, bandage up. I'm gonna, uh... Spot weakness on you. I'm gonna rampage on you and strike you. So you're dead, and then you're doing a thing. I got a lot of strength. Hopefully I, I draw that, um, heavy strike card. Nope. Damn it. Flex. Oh, draw three cards. Drink. Maybe I can. Nope. Uh, but I can flex again. Perfected strike. May as well. Mm. Hang on a second. Sorry for the interruption. Dog went mental. Okay, I need to iron wave, maybe? I'll gain a little bit of block. Would be useful. Uh, ghostly armor. Seven block compared to five block. Well, seven blocks better, but I want to deal some damage too. So, sure. Please don't kill me. I really don't want to be killed. 
Um. All right, so we want to flex, deal anger damage, anger damage, and rampage, and true grit. That's all we can do. We are, we are, um, yeah, this, this attack's going to kill us. We're dead now. Your consciousness fades. God damn it. But that's the furthest I have ever ever gone i believe um this game is really difficult so having to go through and go through and go through and start again and again and again and again and again you unlock cards as you progress and uh like the the the, the better you do the more points you get the more unlocks you get the more cards you unlock for the next playthrough that etc etc and the more experience you have with these cards it also gives you like an idea of like uh, how to strategize what to do it's also luck of the cards luck of the draw depending on which area you go down what question marks you land on and when you rest and when you don't if you're smart in battle and sometimes you can be playing to the best of your ability and like doing all of the right moves and you just, you'll get unlucky. You know, it's all, it's all uh, randomly generated. So um, it does require a little bit of skill, but it's also a hell of a lot of luck. It's just like D&D. You roll the dice and your life lies in the fate of the dice. Like it, it, it's, it really does. So <laughs> anyway, this game is Slay the Spire. That was Ironclad, the warrior class, I guess you could call it. And um, yeah, th th that's the end of this episode. It's a pretty long episode, but Hey, it's a very good game, and I, I mean, I don't know how long this game can actually go for. I don't know if you can beat this game or if it just keeps going. Anyway, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this. You're watching Scarab Gaming. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell button to do me a favor. Let people know I exist, and I'll see you soon. In a peace.